I have to say, you're doing quite well without my help. What are you doing here? You have to get the ones you care about to leave the shelter. They'll be in great danger if you don't do what I say. But remember, Jacob, that has to stay between us. Why? Because things need to play out the way they're supposed to, that's why. I have been here from the beginning. Each of your friends already knows the reason they need to leave. You just have to remind them. Can I tell Commander Baron? No, she won't allow it. Then she will start to question you and keep you away from your missions. That cannot happen. I think I'm more confused than I was before. Just stay focused. We'll see each other soon. It's quiet. You know, quiet's good. Quiet means we're not getting shot at. Rivers, DN46890. Welcome back, Sergeant. Hey, Jacob. Did you see Jennifer on your way here? Isn't she here? She hasn't come back yet, but I'm sure she's fine. About Hollywood Hills. How did it go? I've been to Hollywood Hills and found your old house. Did you? I found Peter's body there. They got him, but he left you a letter. I'm sorry. I... Uh... I have to get back to work. God knows, there's plenty to do. Aaron. What, Jacob? Do you understand what I'm saying? And what you want me to do about it? Weep for him in front of you? Believe me, I have plenty of sleepless nights in my future. But excuse me if I'm not gonna make a spectacle of myself in front of everyone. I want to be left alone now. I forgot. What was I supposed to bring? You know what? You're lucky. No one will ever mistake you for a machine. What do you mean? Have you heard that Dr. Max still alive? Yeah. If I ever get my hands on him, I swear to God. Need anything? Can I see your hardware?
Huh, you're back. How was Hollywood Hills? Crawling with Terminators. And what about Mac? How's he? Is he compliant? Fine, but he needs Skynet security codes if we want him to reprogram that plasma rifle. Fair enough. Talk to Alvin about that. Okay, I will. Did Mac say anything else? No, that's all he said. Okay. Talk to Alvin about those security codes and then come back to my quarters. I'll tell them to let you in. And one more thing, talk to Ryan. That buggy's been sitting there broken for too long. See if something's going on. I've got a suspicion that he's hiding something from me. Alvin! Huh? Uh, you know what? I'm actually jealous of Mac. He's out there alone. No one's bothering him. If I had those working conditions, I would be just as successful as him. He told me that I'll need some sort of a device to download Skynet security codes from an HK. Do you have it? Yes. About that. Um... Do you remember that day in downtown? I do. It was very traumatic. And because of that, I may have forgotten to bring back some things. Including that device. And the quantum battery which powers it. You won't be able to use it without it. So, I guess I'm off downtown. Yes, you do that. I swear I should just join Skynet! Hey, Jacob, what's happening? Baron wanted me to ask about that buggy. Is there a problem? Yeah, she's been nagging me to fix the electronics in this piece of shit for a while now. Do you think you can help me with it? <laughs> Why are you asking me? You're the mechanic. Listen, I'm good with tools. You give me a car with a gasoline engine, I'll make it run. But this electronic shit? I don't know anything about that. Hell, most of my life, I live without electricity. Why not tell her? She won't let me cherry-pick my own responsibilities, you know that. She'll throw me right out of here if she finds out. That's why I need your help. Quartermaster will give you all the parts tell you what to do. Just think about it. I'm here to pick up parts for that buggy. Wasn't Ryan supposed to take care of that? Baron specifically asked me to keep an eye on it. Can he really fix it himself? No, he's been lying so that Baron would let him stay. Uh, she knew something was up all along. I'm going to report it, you know? I know. What the fuck, Rivers? What you think would happen, huh? Baron's kicking me out. That what you wanted? I'm a dead man.
those look like fives to you? Uh, Commander's waiting for you. Well, here goes nothing. Commander. Welcome to the luxury part of the shelter. Hopefully, we won't have too much longer. Thanks to people like us, this war will end soon. You proved that you'll do whatever it takes no matter the cost. And so will I. Don't think your efforts go unnoticed. You know, I killed a man long before I killed my first machine. And was hurt by a man long before a machine's hurt me. Apart from plasma burns, I've got man-made scars underneath these tattoos that I'll never forget. On the good days, they don't hurt, and I feel like this world is worth fighting for. On the bad days, they make me want to quit, give up and run like everyone else. But we're so close. Skynet's almost finished. So you can understand I can't run. I need your help, Jacob. I need you to get rid of Mac. He's unpredictable. He sabotaged our mission and killed our men before. I cannot let it happen again. I need you to kill him as soon as he reprograms that rifle. You look shocked. But I think I can find a way to persuade you. If you're into it, that is. I can't do it. <laughs> That's the first time you've actually managed to surprise me, Rivers. And as for Mac, don't disappoint me. Dismissed. 